The agenda is for the city of Hayhara. Matt, is that correct? Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. This one is a special exception request by David Lodge uh, for property that may seem familiar to you. It's 505 South Church Street. And you may recall a couple of few months ago we had a special exception request by a different applicant um, who is a tenant within this complex um, for a personal services shop. This time it is the property owner and developer who is coming through requesting approval for up to four personal care shops within the complex, which is currently under construction, to include the one that was already granted a few months ago. Property is owned residential professional with conditions, um, as you see on the map on the screen and in your packet. Character area is Neighborhood Activity Center, which is indicative of all up and down this part of South Church Street. Subject property um, is not quite as vacant as <coughs> a couple of years ago. There's a couple buildings there. I think it's two out of a proposed six. They're both still technically under construction, but the, both are nearing completion. Um, you see residential neighborhood to the north and then to the east, and then the mixed land use pattern on the other side of Church Street to the west. In your packet is a copy of the site plan showing the layout of the six buildings um, with a parking area mainly in the front yard. It's sort of an office complex uh, resemblage that's there, uh, conducive with RP zoning. Some photographs, this is the first building that is near completion. You may recall that first tenant that came through. Um, her space is the one on the far left. Uh, not completely finished, but almost ready for occupancy. And then looking in the main entrance, there's a next building there on the right, which is more toward the back. And then more buildings to come pursuant to that side plan. Adjacent properties, this is the view looking southward down Church Street. Um, as you come into Hay Harbor from the south, um, the commercial building directly across the street. And then the north view uh, for the downtown traffic light of the You see a little bit more of the mixed pattern. Um, very similar to the request that we had before. It's a tenant space out of what could be probably 30 tenant spaces within the complex. Rather than have each tenant come through separately for their own approval for this kind of use, um, that one's requesting a blanket approval for up to four um, for them to manage as their tenants. Um, given the size of the overall complex, <coughs> they certainly were reasonable in staff's view, um, even under RP conditional zoning. So with that, staff's recommending approval subject to a few conditions, and they are as follows. Number one, the special exception approval shall supersede and replace the previous approval granted on December 7th last year for case file number HA 2023-03, that applicant is going to be here. Number two, this new special exception approval shall be granted for up to four distinct and separate personal service shops within the complex, including the one previously approved in 2023. Such personal service shops shall be limited to barbershops, hair salons, manicurists, or electrolysis clinics in accordance with the prescribed use table line item in the Hay High Zoning Ordinance for allowable uses in RP. Exactly <coughs> that portion of the table is there in the packet. Number three, such personal service shop um, tenant spaces shall comply with the conditions of the existing RP conditional zoning of the property. Number four, approval shall expire after one year from the date of the city council approval if no city business license has been obtained by that date for any of the personal service shops. Um, my understanding is the first one that came through the gate a few months ago is about the other business license. And that would um, implement to this social exception approval. So hopefully that will occur quickly. We'd be glad to answer any questions you may have. Questions? Questions for Matt? I'd be happy. So, uh, exception of, or item number four kind of concerns me a little bit. Shall expire after a year from the date of city council approval of this special exception? Of this one. Okay. Right. So, that means there's only a year for this to, this covers a year, but there's only, at this point, two or three more available shops. So what of the other buildings, they've so, not even begun construction on the other buildings. Sure, it's one year to get the first one through. Ah, which we already have. Correct. Gotcha, okay. Don't have their license yet, but it's imminent. Okay. Um, and 
Does that, that make sense? That'll be enough to keep it going. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Right. Thank and, you. And it had its own expiration date before. Yeah, I recall. That yeah. clock's already running. So <laughs> this just resets to a different clock. Thank you, Mark. Any other questions for staff? I got one. Yes, sir. I want the work session, so I want to ask a question. Are these one story, two story buildings? Or what these are one story buildings. Okay. All right. So they shouldn't affect the adjoining property owners there. Correct. Right? Right. Okay. All right. Oh, I'll see it then. Okay. Any other questions for that? Okay. Then we will open the public hearing portion on this case. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? If so, please come forward. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor of this case? Mr. Chairman, if I might, um, Mr. David Deloach did call me today. He's recovering <coughs> from surgery and was not able to come, um, but he did want everyone to know that, you know, he obviously is in favor. Okay. All right, having heard that, um, is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak against this case? Is there anyone here that would like to speak against this case? Seeing no one, that will close the public hearing portion of this case. Commissioners, any further statements or questions for staff? In that case, I will call for a motion on this case. All the right people step up. I'll make it. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, item number uh, AJ 2024-04, which is a special exception to allow it for personal service shops uh, in the Kings Court. <clears throat> Excuse me, in the Kings Court Shopping Center, I make a motion that we recommend approval uh, with the uh, four mentioned um, items that staff has um, placed on this special exception. All right, we have a motion to recommend approval on HA 2024 04. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Willis. If you to front All right, having a motion and a second. All those in favor of recommendation to approve this case? Awesome. All right, Matt, I 